hello everybody this is frank from frank's eclectic commentary channel and welcome we're doing something different out here today and i hope it turns out well thank you for joining me all you travelers on the road of life um what are we going to talk about? Okay, that's what you're saying. What's he on here for? Well, we're going to talk about something very interesting, especially to my uh, Christian friends and those people who read Scripture. And we're going to talk about identity. I'm in lovely Castroville, Texas, in Castroville Regional Park. If you haven't visited it, or, uh, it'll be a nice... Uh, Nice thing to stop by and visit. Got a lot of attractions, got a place to keep uh, RVs, swimming pool, and all that. We'll talk more about that in another video. Um, I got a new phone here, and we'll talk about that in another video. Uh, a new one of the new one. But what I want to talk about now, for my Christian friends, is many of you already know this. But the um, Bible says in the book of Ephesians chapter 2, you were dead in trespasses and sins, in which you once walked according to the course of this world, according to the ruler of the authority of the spirit of the air that is now working in the sons of disobedience. Um, so if you notice that language, okay, we're going to start recording again. That's the thing about being in public. People walk up to you and ask your questions. We were talking about Ephesians chapter 2, verses 1 and 2, about being dead in trespasses and sin, and when you once walked as children of disobedience. Uh, I'm reading from the Scriptures ISR translation. You might have an ESV, King James, whatever. But the whole point of the passage is that you were once part of something in something that you are no longer part of. It uses language that clearly shows in which you once walked. So here's the thing. If you're still walking in those things, then you're part of those things, and those things are part of you. You're still a child of disobedience. You need to learn how to walk in newness of life. And we're going to talk about that and who your identity is in Messiah Yeshua. Uh, I think that's important because a lot of people have a misconception, especially in the Christian world, of who their identity is. But uh, if you're no longer walking as a child of disobedience, uh, what are you obedient to? That's the important question. Are you obedient to the scripture? Are you obedient to the teachings of some church or denomination or the con constructs of men? Uh, let's look at that uh, in Ephesians chapter 2. Now, in Ephesians chapter 2, uh, we're a little bit farther along in the chapter. Uh, this is not going to be a long video. Remember, I told you uh, what uh, chapter 2, verses 1 and 2 said. Well, let's look at uh, chapter 2, verse 11. Therefore, remember that you were once Gentiles, is how most translations read, mine reads nations, in the flesh, who are called the uncircumcision, but that which is called the circumcision made in the flesh. In Rabbi Shaul or Paul's day, that was, who were the circumcised guys? That was the Jewish boys. Who were the uncircumcised guys? That was the Greeks, the Romans, the barbarians. And he's addressing that group of people saying uh, a very profound thing that at that time, look at verse 12, you were without Messiah. Some translations say without Christ. Uh, I'm using a translation that uses the Hebraic term Mashiach or Messiah and strangers from the covenants of promise, uh, having no expectation and without Elohim in the world. Your translation will probably say, having no hope and without God in the world. But now in Messiah Yahushua, you who were once afar off have been brought near by the blood of Messiah. Now I want you to notice something about these verses 11 through 12. It says here that you were without Messiah, you were outside the covenants and promises. It says now that you've been made, made part of Israel. That's verse 12. It doesn't say you've been made part of something called the church. Even the Greek word ecclesia doesn't appear here. So it's clear that 
Rabbi Shaul, the Apostle Paul, is saying you are part of a national identity, not an organizational or religious identity devoid and divorced from historic Israel. Now, there's two types of Israel, believing and unbelieving. Those that believe are walking in the covenants and promises. Those that don't believe aren't. One of the covenant promises is the coming of a Messiah, a Redeemer. So if we've been brought into that, and you can look up Romans chapter 11, I suggest you read Romans chapter 9, 10, and 11 to get the exact context. We've been brought into a covenant promise with Israel. Shouldn't you want to know what those covenants and promises are? And everybody says, oh, great, you know, well, I'm spiritual Israel. No, you're Israel. It has nothing to do with spiritual or natural. Uh, people have been taught that construct, and it's a man-made construct. You've been brought in just like Ruth the Moabitess in the book of Ruth was brought into the covenant because she chose to follow the God or the Elohim of uh, Naomi. And she went with Naomi back to Israel and she benefited from the redemption of Naomi through Boaz. You've been brought into this promise. Shouldn't you want to be walking in those covenants and promises? Let me be clear for those who don't quite get it. Their scripture says there are certain set apart days called holy days uh, in scripture that Israel keeps, like the Feast of Tabernacles, which is coming up here in October. And that's a covenant promise to keep those feasts. The Sabbath is also another promise. Are you keeping those? Are you walking in those? Do you have a my, I, identity? Don't want to stumble over my words here, but you do you have identity in Messiah Yeshua? Or do you have what Paul calls another Jesus? Because there is another Jesus, and it's not the one of Scripture. It might be close, but the best counterfeits are the most dangerous. So are you in the covenants and promises? Are you walking in that? Do you identify as Israel or do you identify with some church denomination or organization? My friend, today, if you were once walking in darkness, if you were once children of disobedience, and now you want to be a child of obedience, obedience to what? To his scripture. From Genesis to Revelation, you want to understand the covenants and promises that are for you, not just for the Jew only. Because Jews by the flesh that are not walking in the covenant according to Scripture, and Paul made this clear in Romans, is he who is not a Jew just outwardly by going through the motions, but who is one also inwardly to walk in the covenants and promises. If you have Messiah, if you've turned from your sin, if you've been immersed in the name of Yahushua HaMashiach, according to Acts 2.38, for forgiveness of sin, are you walking in his covenant promises? Are you Israel? Do you understand that you are and you should learn to walk in these covenants and promises? There is your victory and your blessing. Hey, thanks for joining me on Frank's Eclectic Commentary channel. And this video will go in our uh, spiritual commentary, uh, scriptural commentary series. And we look forward to seeing you soon in another video. May Shalom be on your home. Thank you very much for viewing. Like and subscribe and we'll see you later.